Hey guys, it's Xenix, and I'm back with another video where I'm going to be ranking Minecraft mineral resources. These include iron, gold, diamonds, netherite, and more. Before we start, I just want to say that only 2% of you guys are subscribed to my channel, so if you want to make a change to that, make sure to subscribe, it's free. You know what? It's free. Well anyways, let's get started. Number 11. Amethyst. These don't have much of a purpose in the game, they're only good for making spy glasses and tinted glass, and that's it. They are a pretty underrated ore in the game, they aren't even an ore anyways. Although tinted glass can be used to make see-through mob farms, but for the spy glass they, they can be easily replaced with an opto find if you're on the java edition. Number 10. Copper. Yeah I know what you're thinking, 1.17 were the most, well the worst items in the game. The spy glass I mentioned earlier involves the use of copper too. Copper is annoying because it is spread out a lot in the world and can be easily confused with iron. So anytime I go exploring and I think I find iron and I find this, I just go insane. Copper may be appreciated a little bit if you could craft tools and armor just like iron. Number 9. Quartz. If you need a ridiculous amount of XP or make a White House theme build or something, then you wouldn't be meaning to mine this at all. But because of the fact I can get a ridiculous amount of XP, I'll be putting this on top of copper in the list. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Well, these can craft observers, you can make a lot of ridiculous farm, so it's not the worst. Number 8. Coal. Coal is one of the best fuel sources. Oh, finally we're getting to the good tier. You're able to craft up a coal block and you can smell up to 80 items. Now imagine a stack. You can also use it to craft torches and lanterns to use it as light to prevent moths from spawning or to make nice decorations. But it's only good for smelting anyway. Number 7. Lapis. Well, we can't forget our good buddy over here, Lapis. It's not really appreciated though because it's only good for enchanting. There was a time in 1.17.1 where you could easily find diamonds just using Lapis. Now the trick is just to mine north of it. You know what, this is all pointless since it was in the past. But I enjoyed using this act though. Number 6. Redstone. Redstone can even make top 3 but meh. Redstone is only known for its contraptions like a calculator for example, with only redstone and no commands. Farms that we also use on our everyday Minecraft worlds are also done by redstone. A tip for you guys if you're lost in a cave and have no coal just use your sticks and use your redstone to craft redstone torches. Now these aren't as bright but can be efficient. But I'd rather just stick to using these for secret bases. Number 5. Netherite. This crafts the strongest armor in the game. But the process takes a while since it's crafted with one of the most overpowered items in the game that we haven't talked about yet. There isn't much to say but put that aside with copper and that would be the superior inga. Number 4. Diamonds. Ah, every player's lifelong goal. Oh, it's just me. Some may even put it as number 1 but we still have a few to go. Redstone can even be placed aside with diamonds. Diamonds are best known for its efficient gear, weapons and tools. We can't even craft the strongest armor in the game without diamonds. These are however changed the game in many ways we don't know of. For example, tank PvP. Number 3. Emeralds. Emeralds on their own can't even match copper but with villagers, this may be the most overpowered item in the game. I don't think I should even be holding these. Thanks to these gems we're able to get a lot of items from villagers, even some we may not be able to get in survival mode. Like a diamond chest, blow away, it's just me again. Number 2. Iron. A fun fact is that it's one of the top 3 most involved items in crafting, after the planks and the sticks, I think. We can summon iron golems for villagers or even ourselves if we're weak. We are able to easily craft decent armor for survival as they are not too hard to get and we're able to craft some blocks that we can use for diesel in our houses, and much much more. But this doesn't even match our top spot. Yes, that's right, gold's number one. Gold may not make the best armor, tools or weapons, but after what I'm about to say, it shouldn't be taken for granted. As I mentioned earlier, it can be used to craft netherite, well it's actually one of the necessary items to do so. Oh, and let's not forget about piglin traits. These are actually more overpowered than you think. Even iron can be gotten from piglin traits, who knew? If you want to be the guy on the server who has everything, all you need is a piglin trading farm. To even beat the game, all you need to do is to trade for enderpearls from piglins and yeah, you're good to go. Well, you need place powder though. If they're too hard for you, you can get fire resistance potions and you're also good to go. Even mob farms are useless thanks to piglins, you can get leather, arrows, and a lot more. I just want to say thanks to everyone who made it to the end. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe as I said in the beginning that it is free. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.